Good morning and welcome to Going to Work with Gina, which is an Inspire Immersion for STEM students. I am Dr. Gina Henderson and it is Python Wednesday, yes. And you know what we do on Python Wednesday. I always tell you which oil I'm diffusing. And today I am diffusing Northern Lights Black Spruce. This is a fragrance that has a woodsy smell, which kind of has smell like a, a tree. And so I wanted to have that fragrance around me today as I do bold things today. All right, so it's Python Wednesday and Python stands for Programming the Youth to the Heart of NASA. And so, um, NASA's heart right here. And so uh, what I'm gonna talk about today is part two of testing strategy. So when I went out and what was wrong with my student was there is a transition that a student takes from eighth grade to ninth grade. Eighth grade, they may not have had to study as much in middle school. I noticed this with my own, own child. But once they got into high school, they had to become more um, planned. Uh, they needed those planners really so much so now more in high school than they did in middle school and elementary school. And so I noticed some things about her is that how often are you studying for the test and how many days are you preparing for the test before the night before? And so what I told her to do, you know, that two week planner, you're always looking out two weeks on your planner, but you put your testing when it's when you have a test one week. The week before that test, you should start studying more frequently every day and you should start studying for that test every day. Give yourself 30 minutes to study for that test every day. Also, what we did too was talk about her other courses. She has four main courses. So I told her at the end of each day when she get home, besides the homework that the teacher gives you, she should also put into her schedule how she's going to take 15 minutes to look over any notes that she had written. Now, on that particular task that she was doing when it came to studying for the test of DNA and message RNA, um, what I noticed was the teacher had already on the handout, he had sections and each section had topics. I told her one of the first thing I would do as a, as a person who was studying for a test is would study the larger topic. And up under that topic, I would have to explain all of the other stuff because I would have to know the basis of what that topic means, what is encompassed in that particular topic. And so once she started seeing how all of that was flowing and she was able to answer those questions that were on the back, she felt like just in that 35, 45 minute time frame that I was with her, she felt like she could go, go and take the test at that time. So we had to build a testing strategy. Each teacher is different. They work with different um, uh, resources. And so you have to take the resources that they give you and you have to place them into your schedule. But one thing you cannot um, make sure that you don't forget to do. Don't forget to read. You must go back and read the topics that the teacher is highlighting in those handouts, okay? So that was her testing strategy and I, her test was on Tuesday. So hopefully I'll hear from her today in our session this afternoon on how well she felt she did on the test. So I wanna thank you for going to work with Gina this morning. If there's any Inspire Marshalls that you miss, please don't hesitate to go to YouTube, going to work with Gina. It is Python Wednesday, yes.